We're cutting down last year's food plot, which had sorghum and iron clay peas and soybeans and sunflowers. And we've just picked up some buckwheat and sunflower and we're gonna plant probably just buckwheat here and the whole field on the other side with sorghum will be sunflower. So it's the first of May and we're gonna go ahead and get this mowed down and ready to plant. got to do to get it on and make your adjustments accordingly. Then that devil of a PTO shaft. Move that pull in a little bit and bring that up. Those settings. <laughs> Just because you're here watching. Yeah. Last year we planted the sorghum here in this field and the wildflowers were so pretty we're gonna do it at plant some more wildflowers on this side. So we're gonna till it lightly. We're not gonna do a deep till, just to brush the surface of this ground and then um, plant our wildflowers today. I don't think any deeper than that. Oh, man. 
measure with this stalk a little bit. It's about two inches. No, it's about an inch and a half. Inch to an inch and a half, which I think is about right. Two inches in some places, just because the ground is not level. It was tilled in rows for years, so uh, it's going to take a while to level it. Last year was the first year we had this um, field, and the farmer tilled it deep. And so all we're doing is scratching the surface one and a half inches, one to two at the most, just to get some soil, ground us some soil to seed contact with our wildflower seeds. Um, so we don't want it deep. We want the microbiomes to start to do their job in the soil and to encourage, um, you know, earthworms and bugs and stuff in here. So now while we're stirring it up, you're going to start to see the swallows. The tree swallows are going to start to fly and eat some grasshoppers and bugs and stuff. They like it when we bring out the tractors. Last year's wildflowers. Hello, Mr. B. <laughs> and right now we have Coreopsis blooming, and we've got some uh, Black Eyed Susans coming in, and some sunflowers growing up. These are all from last year's spray of seed, and I'm waiting for Cosmos, but we've got little ladybugs in here. Everything is looking good right now in this wildflower pet.
sunflower seeds. And we've got two bags of buckwheat. So I think we're gonna work on the buckwheat here and then the sunflowers over there. That'd be pretty. At this point during our planting, we were visited by our wildlife biologist. The timing was perfect as we were able to show the seed mixtures we were planting as supplemental food for the wildlife. We also took a ride around tour of the farm to show him some of the progress we've been making on our wildlife plan. It was a nice time to visit with our very favorite wildlife mentor. Peas have to have something to climb on, so, so back here, and then we're going to come back with blanket flour underneath the orchard. Jamie told us that's the best thing to do. So we got buckwheat and soybeans, and we're not going to put sunflowers back here because they face the trees and you can't see them. I guess we could put some just well, the peas are going to climb. So we'll put the sunflowers and the peas together. Well, we got another bag of all these things. Oh, okay, good. Well, do you want to throw some sunflowers out here then? I just don't want to be heavy on the sunflowers. I'd like to just see how that would do, okay. that, okay. the buckwheat and the soybean. Put 25 pounds more in there. Yeah, I could barely lift it. I could lift it, but I was going to lift So this is soybeans, and this is, the black ones are the buckwheat. And they're both going to be well, the buckwheat's a little bit shorter than the soybeans. Soybeans going to be about waist high. And the buckwheat's about thigh high, I guess. Yeah, they're about the same right. Yeah, right. The buckwheat has a little flower, doesn't it? Yep. Well, and so is the soybean. But... It looks like it's throwing too much. Like it The 
for today which is good because we've got some weather coming and so it'll be watering them in and then tomorrow we'll cult pack we don't have time today we ran out of daytime it's time to clean up and get on with the rest of the evening so we'll get back to it tomorrow